come with us. Sir, to enjoy the supernatural, you need to be connected to the prophet. If you have people God has connected to your life, you are checking their imperfections. And that's why you are missing the unction they carry. There's no priest without infirmity. And in fact, some of the things you call imperfection are even your assumptions. You need a prophet. Your prophet is your prophet. The prophetic is a preservative. You need someone to cover you. There are hawks and there are sharks. There are bushwhack looking for who to consume. You need to be covered. I am a father, but I have a father. I don't have to see him every day. There is an account. I know I have his account. Every month I, I do my obligations. I'm properly covered. Mentorship is not sponsorship. You don't meet a mentor to help you. To give you money. No. People don't sow down. They sow up. Some of us have to repent today. You have to repent. Some evil assumptions, non-existent thoughts that you have had concerning prophets. Ah! You need to be spoken to. You need somebody that can, this is what God is saying. I know there are lots of fake. The reason there is fake is because there is original. If you don't hear from God, shut up. Allow those who hear from God to speak up. Be upstanding. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I have no shadow of doubt that this video is going to be a blessing to your life and your ministry. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, click the bell notification, and give me a thumbs up if you really like this video. Watch your full video next to this one. The problem with Africa is that this generation is an arrogant generation. The biggest contender of spiritual principles is civilization. Civilization. This world is too wicked. You need a guide. Pastor, there are so many pastors who have done evil. Yes. There are so many pastors who have taken advantage. Of course, there are so many leaders in government who have taken advantage. Why are you still a, a, a national of a country? There are many African leaders that are bad. Why are you not an American? I'm leaving that church because they didn't treat me well. In your office, they didn't treat you well. You didn't resign. In your house, your neighbors didn't treat you well. You didn't pack out. You left the church because you are arrogant. You are too proud. You are too arrogant. People don't bow. There are people, I asked a young man, he's doing well. I said, who is your father? He said, God. I said, I know. Who is your instructor? He said, Holy Spirit. I said, you will soon fail. You will soon fail. <laughs> who is your father? God. Who is your instructor? Holy Spirit. Who do you call when you need to talk something? Jesus. <laughs> Elisha needed an Elijah. Yes. Joshua needed a Moses. Yes. With all the with all the wrong characters an attitude of Elijah God still gave him a grace in his mantle Elijah was terrible oh. Elijah was the only guy that was going to heaven and he didn't tell his assistant pastor <laughs> you think Elijah gave Elijah the mantle no Elijah was going to heaven with a mantle. Elijah cried, my father, my father. The Bible said the mantle fell. <laughs> against the will of Elijah. <laughs> he was a terrible person. Do you know what it means to follow a man who kills people at will? Hey, up. There will not be water to drink in this land for the next three and a half years, according to my word. And you follow that kind of man? They'll cut off your head. It goes up to Mount Carmel. We are the prophets of Baal. Kill them. We are the prophets of the groove. Kill them. The guy was brutal. He upset. Are you the one that troubled Israel? He says, your father. <laughs> the guy was brutal. But despite all, the Bible says, he passed the mantle. Some of you have people God has connected to your life. You are checking their imperfections. And that's why you are missing the unction they carry. There's no priest without infirmity. 
And in fact, some of the things you call imperfection are even your assumptions. Yes. Some of the things you call imperfection are even your assumptions. Assumptions. A young man was giving his tithe during the COVID. He was sending tithe, sending tithe after the COVID. He was giving some more tithes. And the, I mean, they resume on site service. The pastor bought a jeep. The pastor's wife bought a jeep. The guy got angry because he was giving the money to the church for projects. The pastor moved and bought a big house. The man stopped giving tithe. He told his friends to stop. So you see, he has bought a jeep. The wife, a jeep. He bought the house from our money. Had and money. So one day they were about, the pastor, they saw a land to move to. The pastor said, we saw a land, it cost also millions of dollars. But don't bring anything. Because during the COVID, some people have been giving some money. A brother here has been paying this tithe. He called the brother's name and mentioned the figure he has been bringing for the past one year. He said, the money is intact. The brother was in the crowd. He began to cry. He said, some others have been giving. He mentioned. So those the brother convinced to stop giving, when the pastor was calling their records and telling them their money is in their account, they looked at the brother. Don't allow a man who did not die for you tell you to serve a Jesus who died for you. Don't allow a man who did not die for you tell you how to serve a Jesus who died for you. He went to the pastor. He said, Pastor, I actually stopped giving. I saw you changing cars. I said, the Pastor said, No. There is somebody I prayed for concerning the fruits of the womb. They were expecting babies. And God gave them babies. They bought the car for my wife, bought the car for me. They bought houses. It's not your money. Assumptions. Assumption. So because you gave your tithe, the pastor should not wear a suit anymore. When once he wears a suit, my shillings. He wears a shoe. Hey. You have your question. Look at that shoe. He wasn't wearing that brand of shoe before. Ah, these pastors, these pastors. Hey. And I've discovered it's only those who don't have. You see, poverty is mental. That you don't have money doesn't make you poor. It's your thinking. The young man was shocked. Assumption, indignations generated by assumptions. You need a prophet. Your prophet is your prophet. The prophetic is a preservative. You need someone to cover you. There are hawks and there are sharks. There are bourgeois looking for who to consume. You need to be covered. I am a father, but I have a father. I don't have to see him every day. There is an account. I know I have his account. Every month I, I do my obligations. I'm properly covered. Mentorship is not sponsorship. You don't meet a mentor to help you, to give you money. No. People don't sow down, they sow up. You sow to higher graces. You sow up so you can grow up. This is wisdom people don't have. And people do not understand it. And so many people are offended. Apostle, that man is a fake prophet. Are you not a fake member? Can... <laughs> Man of God, have you not seen members who attend three churches? Is that not a fake member? You are in this church, you are in another fellowship, you are in another prayer meeting. You are talking of fake prophets. You fake deacon. And there are people who are just there. They are empty. Some of us have to repent today. You have to repent. Some evil assumptions, non-existent thoughts that you have had concerning prophets. Ah! My father-in-law was, was coming to our town and they have having a program. They said, these people have to, I said, contribute. Leave everything for me. Contribute what? Where is a father's honor if he's struggling to pay bills with you? He said, leave everything. We'll sort it out. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. You need to be spoken to. You need somebody that can. This is what God is saying. I know there are lots of fake. The reason there is fake is because there is original. 
God must reveal to you who your prophet is. God must. It's not a matter of size. Destiny is too cumbersome to attempt without a guide. Prophet. In the days of crisis, they said, where did it fall? The prophet we identify. And when you have a prophet, you open up. He said, where did it fall? Stop lying to your pastors. <laughs> a member of our church, I prayed and prayed and prayed. He had a problem. He was diabetic. So I laid hands on him. I mean, to the glory of God. I don't pray. I don't do that twice. If I lay hands once, people are healed. This one, I laid hands on him, anointed him, pour oil on his head, almost carried him inside oil till he almost became chips. You know chips, potato chips. The guy was not well. What is going on? So one day he was at the hospital and he sent for me. I went there. He said, I have a confession. I have a confession. I said, what is it? He said, I have four bank accounts. Four bank accounts. My wife is not aware. He mentioned the money in one account. Hey! He was about to die. He mentioned another one. Hey! Four heavy account. He doesn't pay tight. He doesn't give offering. He doesn't do nothing. He doesn't have to support his wife. I said, no wonder. I said, forget, I said, forget about church. Forget about us. Even your own family. Many of you don't understand that when you are doing morning altar, morning devotion, and some children are there, they are not praying for you, they are actually praying against you. Children, let's pray that God is going to bring money. This, and your children say, Father, Lord, no way. Because if money comes, our father becomes arrogant. Anytime he has money, he doesn't stay at home. So don't answer this prayer. And this man had so much money. I said, You had all that money? He said, Yes. That's why are you telling me? He said, in case anything happens to me, in case I die, this is the account number of this. Tell my children. I said, I will tell them now. You will not die. I called the wife. I called the children. I said, your father just said something. Repeat it. Hmm. I said, repeat it. Hmm. 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 And I broke the news. I saw their eyeballs almost popping out of the socket. <laughs> Daddy, I said, calm down, calm down, calm down. Let's forget about that. They said, no, no, no. We can't feed. We can't pay our school fees. Our father has so much money. The son said, I'm leaving. I said, stay here. Let's pray for God to heal him. And we prayed. And we prayed. Two days later, he was discharged. God home became so humble. Everybody needs a prophet. You know, one time somebody was attacking me on um, social, social media or something. All these prophets, all these calling people's name is not relevant. We need the word. Um, I want to say something. For example, I give a prophecy to say, oh, what's this road called? The road. What's the road called? Eh? City. City. Hallway. For example, I says, mm, let's pray concerning city hallway. I saw something like an accident. Let's cancel it. Is that in the Bible? Is city hallway in the Bible? When people tell you that you need to, I believe in the word but I believe in the gift that the word approves. How can, show me in the Bible. We had the, we had the Bible. We had somebody called out somebody by name. You are Zacchaeus, come down. You are Nathaniel, an Israelite indeed. Go to the house of Simon in a street called Street. You will find a man called Paul. So both the house and the owner of the house and the street. I'm sure if there were phone numbers, you would have mentioned it. If you don't hear from God, shut up and allow those who hear to speak up. If you don't hear from God, shut up. Allow those who hear from God to speak up. Be upstanding. 